Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I wanted to show you a flip through of my Silverium junk journal. I made this journal, oh my goodness, like way back when, I don't even know. I made it this year, but I made it like a couple of months ago. I made it after taking Kaylee Gray's Silverium little class on Creative Bug. So I will leave a link down below in the description box to that course on Creative Bug. But yeah, um, I actually have not really finished this. There's some pages like this one that are still like blank, but I think for right now it is complete in my eyes. And yeah, I just wanted to come on and give you a flip through of it. So it's this kind of like faux altered book. It's an altered book, but it's not really. I just made it to look like an altered book. And I actually have a video on how I created this journal. So I will definitely leave that link down below as well and maybe put it in the cards up here. But yeah, so it's kind of like a faux altered book. And it's just, it's just a junk journal. It, the Silver Rerum is a commonplace book and I made it in a kind of junk journal style. So I did a whole bunch of things in here. I art journaled and I put in things that I got in the mail and just like all sorts of little things are in here. That's the point of keeping a commonplace book. It's just, you know, random thoughts, maybe some experiments with different paints, some things that you wanted to keep that you got in the mail, but you don't really know where to put. That is the whole point of a silver rerum or a commonplace book. So I just kind of wanted to go through what I have here. So what I, I made this book with two signatures. Now this is not the original signature. So if you've been following me on my Instagram account, you know that I attempted to do junk journal July and I created like a whole little kind of junk journal for that well I never I never really filled that in like all the way and I never really filled in the second signature of my silver rear room so what I ended up doing was taking out the original signature the second signature that I had and combining it with the stuff that I did for junk journal July and so I kind of made this brand new signature to put in here and I lucked out that I made my junk journal July sort of like a b6 so that it fits the little tabs and pages are over like they overhang but that doesn't really bother me very much it actually gives a lot of character to this particular journal so if you open it up this is what we have here I have this vellum here this is a Heidi Swap vellum I love this floral and when I made it I just kind of put this label and then these alpha stickers and it just spells out silver rerum and then I just left the ledger blank and so here is just art journaling like like this was very low stress art journaling like it was just I think I had a thing about story I don't even know but so that is what I have here in the beginning. This was from a Frida Kahlo exhibit that I went to go see. Um, this was actually a quote that really struck me when I was at the exhibit. I think I was going to journal here, but and I of course never got around to it, but that's what I put in here. I think this was from a Get Messy Recipe, <laughs> this page. Then of course this was my my free printable in April. Okay, so I did start this in April. I started this book in April. So it went from April to July, because I have my junk journal July there. But I, of course, didn't do anything in this book every day. So this is when I started using old um, pen pal letters in my in my junk journals and my art journals. I kind of ripped them up because I was getting rid of them. You know how they, everything just accumulates and some, some things, you know, you'll save and some things you won't and I was just like how can I repurpose these letters and so I decided just to put them into my art journals again these were this was from a letter so this book was just me playing around with a bunch of stuff this is some fabric This is a quote from James Burke. Um, I don't know when he said it. He said it during one of his videos and I just had to write it down. And he said, it's not hoarding if it ends up in a journal because you know, I, I think with paper especially, we 
journalers and memory keepers and scrapbookers, we just tend to hoard all of the little bits and pieces that we collect, I guess, during our days. That's what's so nice about a silver rerum or a commonplace book is that we can take those little pieces and just kind of put them in. So this is what I was telling you, how this is not a completed journal. I have a bunch of pages here that are just, just the pages themselves, but that is fine with me. I don't really mind only because I kind of want to finish this. I kind of want to close this chapter in this book and start something else. This was from a pen pal. I just kind of put it in here as well. I ordered some things from Amity Bloom and so this is a little her little card so I just kind of taped that in here as well. Again another blank page. This page I did this here but I just kind of left it. So there's a lot of half finished pages I guess here. This one's also half finished. I was supposed to do my journaling here and I never did. This was a uh, pen pal sort of mail. And then what I ended up doing was I had a little notebook that I was going to use as my art journal for the year. And I decided to repurpose that journal and use it just for my artist dates. So I just kind of took out all the art journal pages that I did that were art journal pages and not like artist date pages. And so I just kind of stuck them in here. And so these are the pages here. So it goes back to February because this is when I use my February printable. If you remember this video. And then when I got my uh, zine squad zine. And so I just kind of stuck them onto this page here. So they're just kind of like, those are the only pages that I did. So I wanted to keep them somewhere. So I just kind of stuck them in like this. And here's another page that I just didn't do anything on. This, I pressed some flowers. So I have this kind of kind of glassine bag, just kind of protecting that. And then that's about it. That's the first signature here. So roughly the first signature is full. The second signature, again, wasn't filled at all. I think like a couple of pages were filled. So I merged it with my Junk Journal July or what I kept for my Junk Journal July. So I don't think I shared any of this process or anything for this Junk Journal July on my channel, but I did share the photos like on Instagram and stuff. So this is the cover that I made. So everything in the beginning of this signature is original to my junk journal July little journal that I made. And this is just, you know, hello. And then I wrote my kind of stats and then junk journal July down there. And I was following the prompts to that challenge. And so I was loosely following them. Um, so this was like an intro to it. I made this window out of a um, security envelope. I love doing that in my journals. So you can like see, you see, you can see through both sides. I really love that. This of course was another prompt. I just made this tag and it tucks in here. I think this was the, the vintage prompt for that challenge. Oops. This was the favorite colors. I kind of just swatched out some colors, favorite colors. Actually, these are just the colors that I had in my um, my journaling pouch and then I just wrote. They just really matched this image really well, so I thought that was fitting. This was the note to self prompt. And then I think this was the floral prompt, but this is where I, I think I stopped with following the prompts. I, I was terrible. So this is where I merged my Junk Journal July stuff with whatever I had in the second signature. This was just a little note from some happy mail that I had received, so I just kind of tucked that in here. This was from the April printable. Again, blank pages. This was my May printable. And I think I did a video doing this. This was just a little note that my neighbor left when I was dog sitting their dog. So I just kind of tucked that in here. This was a completely blank page. I actually did this little page here the other day, of course. So I guess this goes into August. Um, I actually, in my other journal, I printed out the album cover to Taylor Swift's latest album and um, I had to reprint it. So this was the off cut that I threw away. And so I decided just to cut her out and just put Miss Americana here. 
this, what I ended up doing, I, the only reason why I am showing this journal and I'm deeming it complete is that I have been rearranging my space and I kind of put all of my art journals and mini albums into a basket that I actually need to transfer over into a bigger basket. But um, there were some journals there that I ended up repurposing. So they were just maybe little journals that I never finished. So what I did was I just took them apart and just kept the pieces that I wanted and combined some pieces of the ones that I kept with some other ones that were not filled up. And so this was where I put like pieces from a journal that I just didn't keep. This was from the Get Messy Season of Interest. Inspection. I actually made this for my little one of those little moleskin uh, the ones that fold up that you mail like the journals that you can mail I bought one when I was in Italy because that's when the season was happening and I'm just like oh I'm going to do this season while I'm traveling it never happened so the rest of the pages were left empty so what I did was I tore it apart there was like one page that I really really liked and I kept that and made it into a cover for a different art journal that I kind of repurposed um, but yeah so the off pieces I initially threw them out but then when I was transferring these guys together and putting it in here I decided to put some of those off pieces on into this journal and so this was like the little intro flap that I did and then over here was just a page that I tore and I just like that'll look cool there this was some elements from that journal that I decided to glue in here as well and I think that is it for this oh no okay I swatched out my gelatos I bought a bunch of gelatos from Michaels from the clearing section so I just kind of swatched them out here and put the the names of them and I believe that is it these are blank pages left over from this signature and so yeah so that is my silver rear room this is the mod podge of stuff that I have in here it's just a mixture of you know art journal pages and then things that you wanted to keep and not throw away like these little notes I did, didn't want to throw them out so I just kind of put them in here and then of course my failed attempts at different art journals and different junk journals kind of merged them all together and I have them in here now. Now they're part of a book that I will keep. So I will keep this book here. And so that is just a look at my silver rear room. It's nice and chunky now that I have it all filled up with things, random things. I, I mean, I tried my best at this, but um, yeah. So I just wanted to give you a look at the completed i'm um, <laughs> completed because it's not really completed but it is finished to me journal here and just sort of how i ended up completing it and what i did to it so i really hope you enjoyed this very quick video showing you my completed silver rear room junk journal and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this little peek and thank you so much for watching i'll see you all next time bye